Okay. Here we are in my garage and I'm not sure where I'm going to put this video in, but my Mark II has been moved off of the ramp, even though I haven't finished it. Why, you may ask? That's why. This is my buddy's uh, 1975 Corvette. Beautiful car, needs lots of work. Uh, it looks better than it really is. I mean, the interior, the whole interior needs replacing. However, uh, I, I work on this car for him and I've done various things. And one of the recent um, issues is the steering pump. And I have done work on the steering pump. I have replaced uh, the steering pump, uh, steering lines. I've, I've replaced various things on it. I mean, it's 1975. Shit wears out. So anyway, one day uh, he was over here and uh, he left. And when he left, he left a trail of steering fluid all over the road. And I texted him immediately and said, hey, you know, be careful, you know, that there's something wrong. You left fluid. I didn't know what it was at the time. I said, you left fluid all over the road. When he got home, he, he figured out it was steering fluid. So today he brings it back to me and I said, OK, let's have a look. So we get underneath, we have a look. Ah, shit, a hose has come off. Well, that's kind of odd. Not quite sure why a hose came off, but it came off. All right, no problem. Um, and he said he also thought he heard um, the hose clamp go, but doing, get doing, get doing down the road, and he lost it. I can't understand why he didn't just stop immediately and go and get it. Um, anyway, so it comes here today, and I get it up on the ramp, and I go, ah, shit, yeah, the hose has come off. Oh, that's kind of odd. The hose doesn't look terrible. Uh, maybe it, it, um, it was, you know, old hose and wasn't holding on too tight. All right, fine. All right. So I get underneath and I say, all right, buddy, uh, I've got to put no ho hose on it. I've got some hose. No big deal. We'll do that. I'll have it ready for you in a couple of hours. And I'm in there and I'm trying to put the hose on and I go, what the? The steering pump's moving. Why is the steering pump moving? It shouldn't move. The bracket that holds the steering pump has sheared off. Um, I have never seen this before. I will include it in another video. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to take the steering pump off. I'm going to take the bracket off. And I'm going to have to grind and re-weld the bracket. Uh, I cannot understand. It, it must have just fractured, which is really kind of strange. And I will show you it so that you understand what the hell I'm prattling on about. But uh, I have never seen this before. Um, you Corvette guys out there that are watching this video, if you have encountered this before, please let me know. I have never seen such a thing. Uh, okay, you know, it's a 1975 vehicle, so, you know, shit's old, shit breaks. Um, also, unfortunately for my friend, I've discovered that he has a radiator that is leaking, so he's going to have to get a new radiator as well. Or as some of you people call it, a radiator. All right, uh, that's where we're going to stop this video until I have got the bracket off. And we do some welding. Well, it's a Corvette uh, job. See this little beastie here? Steering pump. Don't buy from O'Reilly's. Yeah, reconditioned. Reconditioned piece of shit. Probably because it was reconditioned in China, I would imagine. I mean, even this pulley. China. I do wish we'd stop buying stuff from them. <laughs> However, the bit that broke was American. This. And don't think the pump isn't broken. It is. It's a piece of crap. And it has nothing to do with this breaking. That. 
is manufacturing defect. Hopefully you're seeing that. Anyway, what has happened here is that the main reason it came in is he lost all his steering fluid. This broke, it was attached to there. Um, that caused the pump to move, which caused the clip to come off and he lost all his steering fluid and left a huge trail down my road as it happened because he was visiting me at the time uh, he's a buddy so I'm going to fix this for him I'm going to weld it and as I said this lives there so what I've got to do is clean up these surfaces lock that in there the only way that I feel I can hold this properly and keep it level is with a very strong magnet that I have and then just a couple of tack welds to hold it in position then I will be able to uh, weld it properly and I'm saying properly because uh, I know that with the magnet on there it will attract the weld you know metal to metal it's it's going to attract it but I'm going to put the uh, the magnet on the other side in fact let me show you what I'm going to do with one of these rather powerful magnets um let's take uh, <laughs> you see i can't even get the bloody things off they're so strong and i love them for that so if i just put a magnet there and then place this on there make sure it holds it ah you see now i'm looking at this and i can see that that is slightly bent so what I'm going to do before I weld it is I'm going to try and straighten that a bit. This is all going to be fun. I, I am no expert welder. Do understand that. But, hmm, well, maybe I was lying. Maybe the magnet pulled it off. Oh, look, of course, you stupid idiot, Gary. It's because there is a little ridge there. Sometimes I amaze myself with my own stupidity. Oops, get off. There we go, that's better, isn't it? Yeah, idiot, I had it on that, uh, that curve there. So now I can hold this in position, give it a quick and that's all I'm gonna do is and make sure it's in the right position. I just don't think I can do that with a clamp. I must admit, I would rather use a clamp, but we'll see. I've got some other magnets that are stronger than this, even. And, whoa, and that's these ones. Ooh, I'm sorry. Woohoo! Strong magnets. They are. Ouch! <laughs> I told you they were strong. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Come here, you bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Amusing myself again with some fun. Gosh. Let's see what I can do here. Mm. Oh. <laughs> Let's try it on the other side. There's nothing to say I had to do it that way. So let's try putting it on this way. Ah, you see, it just keeps it just... That magnet is so strong. Oh, there it is. All right, so what i got to do is clean this up. Hmm. This, this is going to be a fun one, guys. I've got to make sure I get that in the exact position where it broke. And I'm assuming that was just like metal fatigue. It said, fuck this, I've had enough. And gave up with old age like me sometimes. Can I get it in the groove there? All right, uh, let, me, let me figure this out. Wee! <laughs> it's a lively little bitch. See, and you can see the fault in the metal there. And that's where she said, good night, Vienna. And I'm sure there is one person I know who is going to make a comment on this. And I'm not going to say his name, 
you'll just have to check the comments because he's one of my faithful subscribers and he is an extremely intelligent and resourceful man yes you know who you are <laughs> okay yeah all right so let me get that cleaned up i gotta make sure i hold that in position and i may even do it in a different way i don't know yet i may just try and put a little clamp through there just to bite it in position because i, I, I don't think the magnet's going to work i really don't uh it's just it's not holding it how i want it held and that is to in effect close this crack now i'm going to have to clean this up so i'm going to clean it up and then i can just slightly take the edges off to give me a little v because i want to try and get some penetration in this and oh, nice. it's nothing like a good lot of penetration and i'll also try and do the same on this but i don't want to take it all away so that i can't position it correctly so it's going to be a bit tricky but uh, well let's see let me get to grinding it and um we'll be back okay i have cleaned this up um a little bit because of the distortion it's almost impossible i've discovered to use a clamp so i have used a magnet and you're going to have to take my word for it that is as flush as it could be uh, yep there it is that's that's going to be it so my trick now is to go j -j -j, and uh, once i've gone j -j -j, then i can do a proper weld and i i'm just going to do a little couple of tack welds to hold it in position uh, i'm not going to show you me welding because that's pretty boring This is my little doggy called Finley. He likes Ron and he likes Ron's Corvette. So I think it would only be fair if Ron gave him the Corvette. Wouldn't you agree? This is the broken bracket. This is the one that I'm going to be working on to try and fix it and make it how it should be as in one piece of metal whilst working on the vehicle i discovered his brake master cylinder was full of shit and almost empty he would have died this is the crap i have got out just by dipping paper towels in there and that is the color of the fluid cloudy full of moisture full of shit <sighs> people when you have a classic you have to look after